But what's up, guys? Uh, the bad news today is that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. And I have to say something. I didn't really want to make a video about this because I didn't want to, like, you know, I'm not the best speaker for stuff like this, man. But I've been watching Kobe Bryant since he was in high school. And um, I've been watching Kobe Bryant in the NBA. And I felt like Kobe Bryant meant mean a lot to everybody. And I played a lot of basketball. And when you watched a guy like Kobe Bryant, it motivated you. It motivated me to play basketball. It got me hype. His dedication to the game, his skill, his determination, his confidence, it made you want to play basketball. Every time I seen Kobe Bryant game, I wanted to play basketball. When he scored the 81 points, I wanted to play basketball. Even his last game, he scored 60 points. You want to play basketball, man. I mean, I mean, honestly, man, I really don't play basketball that much. I think I told one of my friends um, that I play basketball, but I told him once Kobe Bryant retires, I'm not going to play basketball anymore because there's no point. And when he retired, I stopped playing basketball. So, but he's the, one of the guys that motivated me to play basketball. We're similar in age. So, like, when I was a teenager in high school, he was in high school, and I watched him play, and I was rooting for him because he was one of the young guys. It was him and Iverson. You got Kevin Garnett, all them guys, and basketball was great then, man, and um, it's, like, sad. Like, when somebody told me that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash, I couldn't believe it, man. I thought somebody was joking around here, joking. Kobe Bryant's, like, invincible. There's no way this guy died in a helicopter crash, but him and his daughter died in a helicopter crash, and my condolences go out to their family their friends, it, um, even to the basketball world, it's sad, man. I'm telling you it's sad. Um, like I said, man, like, um, it's a hard video for me to make. Uh, Kobe Bryant meant a lot, meant, meant a lot to everyone, man. To his comp competitors, to his teammates. This guy was the greatest, man. He was the greatest. A lot of people want to throw Jordan out there. Jordan is great. Kobe Bryant was the greatest, man. He overcame a lot of adversity. A lot of obstacles in his way most people would have shrunk most people would have quit most people would have went in the, most people went in their house and sit in their corner and not leave that corner but kobe bryant battled through adversity he battled through injuries he battled through criticism he battled through teammates not liking him he battled through nba players not liking him even critics analysts and this guy ended up being the greatest player of all time, man. The greatest guard of all time. One of the greats, man. Definitely Hall of Famer. Five championships. A whole bunch of all-star appearances. MVPs. Yo. This guy is one of the best, man. And um, it's sad to see that he's gone. And uh, I just saw... I hope he rests in peace. It's sad, man, but... Like I said, uh, I'm not the, normally I don't do stuff like this, man. But like I said, I was a huge basketball fanatic back in the day. Kobe, Iverson, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, all them guys motivated me to play the game. And all I can say is, yo, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Uh, my condolences to his family, his friends. There'll never be another player as great as Kobe Bryant ever so that's my video guys take it easy later